Gang. Oh, We've got geez. one of the biggest and best in the game, you guys. Wale is here! It's gonna be awesome. Plus, can you spot the real from the fake? This is my favorite game, you guys. Me too. We're gonna find out when four lucky audience members dance on down to play our absolute fave, Fake It or Take It! And you guys, if they pick the real, it's theirs to keep, so I cannot wait. And later, all week, we've been taking a moment to thank someone in our lives who's had a huge impact on us. And today, it's Lonnie's turn. Yay! Yay. We've got a fool going to see if she's gonna cry. And I want my money, so let's do this, girls, all right? Uh, yes. yes. Ready for girl chat? Yes. 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 Let's do it. So ready, okay, because everybody knows that I love me some TV, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, when I watch my favorite shows, like, I feel so connected to the characters. Uh-huh. That they, like, totally becomes like my friend in my head, like oh. for real, for real. Mm -hmm. yes. Like, you know, like the person, like you know you'd be friends with just by watching a character. Right. And I have to say, no lie, my new best friend on the planet, Who? it would be Cookie from Empire. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no lie. No really? lie. Like she's a real woman. She's about that life. Look uh -huh. at that. Look, and, look at that know, picture. Yes, honey. I feel like we all have a cookie that lives inside of yes. us. <laughs> you know, I mean, some shows more than others. I think I'm about 50-50. Sometimes you catch me on the day that I ain't trying to hear it. I'm cookie 100. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Try me not. Wait, you guys. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but living what? in New York City. I am telling you, I swear that every block I walk down in New York, if there's a brownstone, I am bound to see Carrie Bradshaw. Yes. Like, I swear, from Sex in the City, you know, Big is about to turn the corner in his Ugh. town car. Like, no one can tell me that Carrie Bradshaw is not a real person. Not only is she a real person, that's my homegirl. Yeah. Oh, but she's yeah. a real person. I think I would be a combination of Carrie and my girl crush, uh -huh. and my friend in my head is Mindy Kaling, all day, every oh, day. Okay, I love yeah. her. But see, oh, not the okay. character, her in real life. Oh. She's so, I love her. She's so fun. What about her and Carrie quirky. together? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Carrie style, and Mindy has good style too, but I like Mindy because she's got, she's got a very imaginative, um, 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 Personality? Yes. Creativity? And, yes. Okay. And, yep, and she says her she warrior... She can't get her words out either. I mean, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's who's, true. Who's the friend yeah. in your head? I'm obsessed yeah. with Bridget Jones from Bridget Jones' oh, Diary. Yeah. Yes, I that was good. love... <laughs> Y'all don't know Bridget Jones? Yes. We know Bridget? Yes. Yeah. Really? I Mr. felt her. Dawson. I felt her. Yes. She was just so fun and, and quirky, and she always went against the grain. Yeah. You know, in her office, there were always these, like, hot girls, but what's so great about Bridget, she had two of the hottest guys yeah. after her. Yes. You yes. would think that they would be after, you know, all the, the girls. Yeah, the hot chicks. But they were after her because she was something different. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and that's she why... was hot in her own way that only special men could see. Exactly. Yes. yes. And exactly. she was, she's, she's just like a true romantic at heart, yes. and that's how... That's how I am. That's how you are. Uh -huh. All right, fuck you. Yes. Oh, you guys should be besties. Yes. Totally best. Look at her PJs. That's, that is me, like, every day. I Would you wear it. granny panties like her? <laughs> I didn't care. I, 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 yes. I, I did yes. and I do. <laughs> so, Lonnie, who would show? yours be? My friend in my head is somebody that I could drink with. Okay. <laughs> that would help me to use profane language. Okay. Somebody that would tell it like it is. Okay. Who? I would have to say, Medea. Medea? Medea. Oh, yay! Oh, that. That's a good one. Like, for real. Oh, my God. She misquotes scriptures like I misquote yeah. scriptures. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, but, but the thing I like about that character is that she has a heart. She uh -huh. cares about people, but she tells it like it is. And you know, we would make a great comedy duo. You hear that, Tyler Perry? Yeah. Yeah. Gotta love him. <laughs> All right, you guys, I just read something that I couldn't wait to share with you guys. That what? Okay, all you social media stalkers out there, you are not alone. According, yes, <laughs> according to Cosmo, 88% of people admit to stalking their ex's Facebook page. That's 88%. It's, That's a yes, lot. It's true. We have some honest no, Americans. No, yes. I don't want to talk about that. Me Why? Either. 
I, that's boring to me. me I don't too. want to talk about that. Why? I don't like this topic. I'm taking over the table right Wait, now. What I don't do you want to talk, talk about? about it. I don't talk about it. You know what I want? Wait, you what? know what I want? Is she allowed to do that? I want a baby shower. That's what I want right now. That's what I want. chat today, but you know what? We changed our plans. Right, oh my yes. gosh. We had to welcome Princess Housley in the world, <laughs> and we have to plan a vilified baby shower just for you. Okay. We love you very much, <laughs> Tamara, <laughs> and we love baby Housley. Well, so, thank you. Now, Tam, your okay, baby no girl is almost here. Oh, God, I hate you guys. <laughs> But we love you. What are you what are you most excited about? I mean, I'm most excited to have a girl. Right. Um, you know, I have I have a baby boy, um, so it's gonna be something new. I can't wait to smell her. There's a newborn, <laughs> there's you know what I'm talking yes. about, moms. There's you this smell. smell. In the neck right yes, there. Oh, yes, the no. newborn baby smell. I just can't wait to hold her and and and, and bond. I'm Aww. really excited, you guys. Aww. I really am. You're the luckiest little girl. Okay, so, mm -hmm. you know, I want to know, is Aiden excited? Does he know he's going to be an uh, older brother? Aiden has been giving me mixed signals, you guys. Whenever he sees my, my belly, uh -huh. he goes, baby, baby. And then just recently, I bought her these really cute white sandals. Uh -huh. And I said, look, Aiden, these are your sister's sandals. And we were upstairs, and he threw them down the stairs. <laughs> and I was like, okay, we're probably going to have to work on this a yeah. little bit. Okay, to I love it. Can yeah. I babysit? Drinks, like. yeah, I promise be you, honest. I, I will be sober no when I babysit her. Okay. Come to your mind first. Plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Of course, Lonnie. Okay, well, Tam Tam, uh -huh. it wouldn't be a realified baby shower without a gift that sparkles as bright as you do. So, okay. are you ready? Okay. Check this out. <laughs> what did you guys do? <laughs> From all the cast and the crew. Yeah, now, Tam. <gasps> to go hiking and running yes, and stuff. Yes, we so do. That's a good thing. Yes, we do. You know, wow. Sally Look Ann at your rings, Sally Sally Ann blinged it out that for us, so y'all. Cool. Give it up to our EP so Sally cool. Look at yeah. these rings. Yeah. And it's a bob. I love it, you guys. Yay. I All love right. it. Well, you guys, this, this is a baby shower. Yep. Uh, hello, we have to play a fun game, right? Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Earlier, we asked you guys to guess how many pink jelly beans you thought was in this Jar. Okay. And the results are in, okay? There are 7,019 pink jelly beans in here. So let's see who the winner is. Who okay. was the closest to this number? Oh my goodness. Robin Bryant with 7,010 <laughs> jelly beans. <laughs> oh, and the president of Push Your Daddy, come out oh here. Let's get that. All right, Robin girl. You won a hundred and fifty dollar gift card for a massage from the spa finder. <laughs> you got me that how you feel about it. I feel good. Yes. Well, congratulations, Robin. I love it. Enjoy your spa day, girl. Uh, okay, this is fun and all, you guys, but um, are we gonna cut this cake or what? Yes. yes. Yes, please. This is Tamara, amazing. Tamara, we got your favorite flavor, red Ooh. velvet. No, you did not. Yes, yes, you did. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Don't let her do it. How many holes does okay. it take to cut a cake? Okay. <laughs>
There you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, me okay, too. Well, that's you, okay, Jeannie. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Ooh. Who could that be? excited after having this one and it's just awesome i can't wait oh buddy are you nervous to have two girls in the house oh, are you kidding me <laughs> <laughs> two, two mori's in the house two housies in the house but still yeah oh. absolutely but i have all you guys to babysit yeah <laughs> did you have flaky look at lonnie <laughs> look at lonnie lonnie's like i don't know about that uh, what do you think is going to be the biggest you difference wine. you have wine so that's cool i have one you and know yeah. what let's do a toast to the new parents, I want, you know. What do you see? You see the balloon. Oh, balloon. Let me get my the baby. Bear. Hold on. Yeah, I see coming. I see coming. Woo. Yeah, I see coming. Tamar. Yeah. Lottie, Lottie. It's not brown liquor, but it's still good. OK, all right. <laughs> Say personally from all the girls, thank you so much for sharing so much of your life with us, for letting us know that it was a girl, for letting us, you know, have Tamara do her whole pregnancy. Wait a minute, wait, but wait, wait, wait. Aiden, here. He said, I need my balloon. There you go. Here. There you go. There you go. <laughs> So we want to thank you guys yes. for sharing it oh, to you're all welcome. of the audience and to us. We really do love you guys. Yes. So thank let's you do it to the baby. Yeah. 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 We are so happy. So happy for you guys. Aiden and I, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love Absolutely. that we feel and that we receive from you guys. It's, it's been, it's been, we're so grateful. Very blessed. And thank you Very for the best wishes. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Now, everybody knows that owning the real thing is always better than the mock-off, but some mock-offs out there are so good, you don't even care. So we've become champions at spotting the real from the fake. So let's give it one more go right here right now when we play Fake It Or! All right, we've selected a few audience members to try their hands at spotting the real items versus the mock-offs. If they spot the real, it's theirs to take. If not, they go home with this amazing t-shirt from the real. Our first contestant is Cassandra Hayes. Where are you? Oh, she's from Brazil. All right, where are you from? I'm from Albion, New York. Oh, cool! Wow. Yeah. 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 All right, so take a look over here at Lonnie. Okay. Here we have two crystal flower headbands that will definitely turn heads. One of these is designed by Babe and sells for $525. What? The other is a mock-off that sells just for $44. Ugh. Which one will you take? Wow. OK. Now, you have to go home with something amazing. So take a look here. What do you think? Is it one or two? Got it? OK, Cassandra, what's your answer? Two. It's oh! oh! This is the mock-off. But you're taking home a t-shirt from the real. It's all right. It's all right. All right, you did it. We love you. Get out of here. I want to know where is Cindy Namada. Come on down. <laughs> all right. Come on over here, Cindy. You're so cute. Where are you from, Cindy? Los Angeles. Los Angeles, local. Hey. Okay, Tamara, tell us yes. what you got. 
One of these varsity jackets is designed by Veronica Beard and sells for $895. Ooh, wow. And the other is a mock-off that sells for just $40. Which pair would you take? Okay. I would go with two. Are you sure about this? Yes. Okay. Uh, no! I'm sorry. That it's is all right, though, because guess what? You have a one-of-a-kind real t-shirt! Rialto, California. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hallie Babenhouse, okay. Yes. Tell us what you got, Adrian. Okay, one of these is designed by Stuart Weitzman and sells for $400. Whoa. And the other pair is a mock-off that's just 99 bucks. Okay. So, which pair would you take? Okay. Yeah. Focus. Focus, take your time. Think, breathe. I really want you to get this right. Go with that girl. Number two. Oh, no! Okay. Oh. Don't you worry, girl. You're going home, styling and profiling anyway. <laughs> Ladies, we're summoning together all of our good vibes right now yeah, to this next audience yeah. member. It's coming together right now. We've, we're feeling it for you guys. Ricky Martin, get on! Missouri. Yeah. All right. Woo! Let's listen to Tamar because this one's good. Hunty. All right, no shade. But you have got to jump on board with a pair of these statements. Sunglasses here, okay? Especially with the floral accent on the side. I'm all about that life. One of these pairs is designed by Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> and she sells for, oh my goodness, $970. $970. Yes, yes, girl. And the other pair is a convincing mock-off that sells for just $25. Now, which one would you take? Okay. Okay. Take your time. I believe in you. You can win that. whose album, About Nothing, debuted at number one. This yes. Maybach music artist has more than his city and has successfully helped put the nation's capital back on the musical map. Yes. Get on your feet, everybody, for my man, Wale! Go over there and spin the heel, honey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I want to know. What is the craziest thing you've done for love, Wale? Well, I was about maybe 19, 18 years old. Uh -huh. I was sick. I had got a cold real bad, and um. She started to get a little promiscuous in the situation we was in, and I, I wasn't ready to deal with that. So I remember driving on the highway. Yeah, now I'm going to the house. You not answering your phone? What's going on? Right. Like, so I was really on my mission to go find out what was up. Oh, and I Lord. was, you know, that, that situation shaped me to the man I am today. Well, I ain't mad at not, that. Not trusting Aww. nothing. Okay, <laughs> well, I now, see, first of all, you a young and talented, successful artist. Thank you. And like you said, you know, you, you about the ladies, and I, I'm here for that. But does anybody have your attention at the moment? No, not right now. Single. It ain't. It's it's hard though. Because... So you single, ready to mingle? Yeah. I'm excited about really? That. I'm not looking, but if it if it fall in my lap, like who am I to run from it at this point? In my right. Life? <laughs> you know, I was at the point where I was running, like love. Oh, I'm going that way. But right. now it's like, okay, you know what I'm saying? You stimulate my mind, and like, let's see what it is. Well, what you like? If I can genuinely find somebody who stimulates my mind and like teaches me stuff, I'm not saying like you gotta I'm be an insight. I'm gonna put you on ChristianMingle.com. Right. That's what I'm gonna do. 
Now look, Wale, we've been noticing online and now on your album that you have become friends with the legendary Jerry Seinfeld. Yes! I mean, ah, huge fan. Tell me, how did you become, you know, friends? Well, I, I got cool with Jerry maybe like six years ago. Oh, I did a wow. mixtape about nothing. And, um, you know, his wife, uh, Jess, she's a, she's a, she's a very down rider chick, like, for real. I she, love really? her. She, she, she put us together, and, you know, and me and Jerry been cool ever since. Wow. wow. That is really that is cool. cool. Now, your new record, the album About Nothing, is out, and now that you've stated that this is one of your most personal albums, why is that? I mean, I touch on subjects I never really have. Like, mm. you know, me personally, like, I've always been kind of, like, an introverted person. Like, I'll go to the the popular club during All-Star Weekend and I'll be on my phone playing like Brick mm. Breaker. Like, I, <laughs> I ain't into it. It's not your thing. I ain't into it. And it's not to say that I'm not interested, it's right. just that... You just don't let it I, break I, into I, your I don't want to get, I don't want to ever take it too seriously. Yeah, you know, yeah. when we take it too seriously, then you take it seriously. Like, yeah. you wake up every morning like, you know... Yeah. Right, like, yeah. You know what I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Like, I want to yeah. be a man of the people. And I think that's important, like, to that's really cool. have that relationship with the people. That's right. So, that's really cool. I very, like very that. true. Wale, your brand new single, The Matrimony, featuring Usher and Jerry Seinfeld, <laughs> touches on some really deep subjects that men don't usually express. Mm -hmm. So what inspired you to tap into that emotion? There's a thing with black men. We all like to be like, oh, I don't care. I don't care. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. Cool. And uh -huh. they be like, oh, Wale, you sensitive. I'm like, so? You got feel, so okay? I, like you gotta feel. You gotta be in order to feel. So in order to be so. felt, you have to feel. That's right. Yeah. So if I feel twice as much as somebody, or I'm, I'm willing to cope with my feelings more than the next person, like so be it. Like I feel because that's I want these people to feel me. Right. Yeah. You know what right. I'm saying? That's I, I don't so run smart. That's a good I man. That is so smart. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I got my. I'm ratchet still too. Don't don't clap right. for me just yet. Y'all gonna be sucking your teeth in a minute. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Wale, this album is so good. Thank you. We didn't want to just keep it to ourselves. So everyone in today's audience is going home with your own copy of Wale's yeah. album. Yeah. We're here with one of the hottest rappers in hip-hop, Wale, whose record, the album up. about nothing, recently debuted at number one. Yay! Yay. Congratulations. Yes. Well, uh, your brand new single, The Matrimony, is hot, so it's clear you know a thing or two about marriage. Or I don't. Okay. That's also true. Well, we wanted to give you the chance to tie the knot right here, okay. right now. And before you get cold feet, Jeannie, Tell them about the ceremony, please. Wale, one at a time, these blushing beautiful brides will recite their special vows for you, and you'll then make it official by reciting your own vows back. Are you ready to play Real Love? Here comes the bride, Tamar! Come on down, Tamar! Baltimore. I, Tamar, promise to love you as much as I love my credit card, try it. <laughs> I love you, for you're richer, I am poor. As long as our credit limits stay high, we finna touch the sky. Hey! hey! Tamar, I Wale, I'm down to be your dude. Mm. Just as long as you don't spend all my good green money Ooh. on them red bottom mm. shoes. Hey! We gonna pawn this after the show, all right, baby? Yes, let's do that. <laughs> all right, congratulations. But here comes the next future, Mrs. Wale. Tam, Tam, go ahead when you're ready. Okay. All right. I, Tamara, oh. take you, Wale, to be my lawfully wedded husband, <laughs> even if I'm waiting all night for you to finish your new track and our dinner gets cold, Ooh. to have and to hold, here's to more records sold. I'm pregnant after all. Wale, you better do the right thing. I, Wale, promise to never call you Tia. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to never tell your man friends, Roger, go home. <laughs> I promise to never give up on you or ask who the father is. As long as you continue to turn up for me. <laughs> That's pretty good. Congratulations. Thank you, Wale. Give it up for 88, and you may go when you are ready. OK. I, Adrian, promise to love you until the end of my days. Unless I catch you at one of them groupies backstage. Too late. Remember, I love you more than I loved in sync. Oh! Adrian! 
<laughs> I promise to keep your wrist rocky, Adrian. Ah! Ow! Every three WCD lyrics, I'm gonna get oh! tattooed. I'm gonna get your lyrics tattooed right over my heart, baby, because oh, what you mean to me. I promise to, you know, be everything that you need and more. To be, it'd be Lonnie. I, Lonnie, love, promise my love to you as long as my other boyfriend Woodrow don't come through. <laughs> I will remain true to you except for Thursday afternoons because I get turned up. And I promise to stay around until you work my last nerves. I will laugh, cry for you, be semi faithful. You down. Damn. <laughs> Let me thank your mom for the beauty you and her. Let oh. me call her up and be like, excuse me, Mrs. Um, you don't know me, but thank you for your flower, but I'm trying to be your son. Now, wait, oh. wait, I know what you about to say. The male entertainers entertain everything, but that ain't the case. Let me put it this way. If I'm trying to see you bloom, why will I do it with shade? Don't play dumb. I won't say love. The pollution that you used to illuminate such. Beautiful, the evolution of your bud. Remove your makeup. Let's see your human nature. Oh. <laughs> I want to go. When the producers of The Real came to me asking who I wanted to thank, I knew just who it had to be. Today is my turn to give a real thank you. The person I wanted to thank has been in my life for over 20 years. I met her when I was an engineering student, didn't have any family living here in Los Angeles. She became my family to me and even gave me my first job. Oh, she worked in HR, right? Wow. I wanted to thank her in person, but unfortunately, she's out of town. That's how booked she is, Tay wow. all right? <laughs> However, she sent a video message, which I haven't even seen yet, so let's roll it. Thank you for inviting me to the show today. I'm sorry that I'm not able to attend, but I wanted to let you know that Evan and I think you are an amazing person and you have been such a blessing in our lives. I wanted to let you know that I am so proud of you. You are such an amazing and incredible comedian. You are so funny. I love you. I just wanted to let you know that. But you know what, you guys, the video's not out. good enough. Miss Evelyn Turner, come on and see your girl. Love you. She sure did. Oh, well, Lonnie, Lonnie, Lonnie. now that Miss Evelyn is here in person, <laughs> what would you like to say to her? Thank you so much for giving me my start as an engineer. And not only did you give me my start, but you helped me to understand the corporate America. And I just want to thank you. And oh, when they perfect. said, who did I want to thank, you took me in even beyond the call of your job. And Aww. it's made me the person I am today. So I thank love you. you. Thank oh, you. I love Evelyn. you, too. I love oh. you, too. I love you, too. You're quite welcome. <laughs> okay. I'm so Look excited. Look at you on the Rio, girl. Okay. Like, <laughs> Evelyn, Thank you. I want to know, what was your first impression of Lonnie? Her laugh, because it <laughs> Oh, is, my gosh, it's so It's infectious. hilarious. It really is. It's just, you know, she just has everybody going, and I love it. I love that part about her. I really yeah. do. Yeah. Does she do the thing where she goes, <laughs> Yes, yes. Yes, all the time. All the time. Okay, I love it. I really do. What is your best Lonnie story? For me, the one that is touching is for my 50th birthday. Aww. And I know that, um, that she was traveling during that time, and I asked her, hey, do you think that you can MC for my birthday? And she says, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. And she was so remarkable because, you know, a lot of my friends, you know, know her, but there's a lot that don't. Mm -hmm. And everything was so sincere. People got up. They were supposed to be roasting me. Instead of roasting me, they were doing all nice, touching stories, you Aww. know, which was really nice. And there was some fun. But the biggest part was when the dancing came along. And Lonnie took the mic, and she went out with do a line dancing, telling people how to move. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get it like this, go yeah, like this. Yeah, that's and Lonnie. it was fun. It was fun. She had such a a good time. We all did. Aww. So thank you. I, I want to know something else about Lonnie that, like, most people would not know about her. Like, yeah. something that's shocking. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Don't tell that. Spill it. Spill the sea, yes. honey. One is she is unique in her own way. 
-hmm. but she's genuine. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. She really so is. Genuine. She really is. She's a caring person. So mm -hmm. you get the real. It's, yeah. it's so cool that she's on the real because she is real. Yeah. You know? Yes. You, you, there can be all different types of friends that you have and people that are not real, mm -hmm. but you know, I think that that for me that that's. That's the biggest piece that, oh, you know. Dumb. I love that. Well, Miss Evelyn, it was such a pleasure meeting you. Thank and you. thank you for being such an amazing person in my girl Lonnie's yeah. life. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Thank you, so thank you much. very much. I really appreciate it.